and welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Teacher AJ. Today we are going to talk about a very important topic for entrepreneurs and business owners, how to recognize potential markets. So, how do we go about recognizing potential markets? Well, here are the following questions that we are going to answer along the video. What is market? What is potential market? What is available market? What is target market? What is penetrated market? What is market need, and how to recognize a potential market? To define what market is. Market is a regular gathering of people for the purchase and sale of provisions, livestock, and other commodities. It is the mechanism that enables the interaction between buyers and sellers to determine the price, quantity, and quality of goods or services being traded. Market also a place where two parties can gather to facilitate the exchange of goods and services. Markets can take various forms including marketplaces like shopping malls or online platforms like e-commerce websites. Markets consists of existing customers, they are the people who have already purchased your product. Prospects, they are people who have not yet purchased your product but are considering it and target market users, they are the people in your target market who are not currently looking for solution. Understanding the various markets is essential for any business to succeed. In this video, we will discuss the differences between penetrated market, available market, potential market, and target market. Potential market is a part that you can capture for your business future growth. It refers to a group of individuals or organizations who have the characteristics and needs that make them likely customers for a particular product or service. These individuals or organizations may not have purchased the product or service yet, but they have the potential to do so based on their demographics, behavior, and preferences. Available market is the number of people who are both willing and capable of buying a particular product or service. They are the total number of potential customers or consumers for a particular product or service in a given geographical area or market. It refers to the portion of total market demand for a particular product or service that is accessible to a business or company. The available market is determined by factors such as geographical reach, distribution channels, marketing budget, and customer base. Identifying available market is important for businesses because it helps them focus their marketing and sales efforts on the most promising customer segments and optimize their business strategy for maximum growth and profitability. Target market is a particular group of consumers at which a product or service is aimed. It is a specific group of people that the business aims to reach and sell their products or services to. This group is characterized by demographics, behavior, and needs that make them more likely to purchase the business's offerings. Target markets are identified through market research and analysis of consumer behavior and preferences. By focusing its marketing and sales efforts on a specific target market, a business can tailor its messaging and product offerings to meet the needs and desires of that particular group. This can help the business build stronger relationships with its customers, improve customer satisfaction and increase sales and profitability. In addition, by targeting specific market segment, a business can differentiate itself from its competitors and establish competitive advantage in the marketplace. Penetrated market is the set of customers who are already using a particular product or service. The business has already successfully entered the market. A penetrated market can be challenging for new businesses to enter and succeed in, as they must compete with established businesses who have already established strong brand recognition, customer loyalty and economies of scale. However, it can also indicate that there is a high demand for the product or service, and that there still may be opportunities for new businesses to differentiate themselves and capture a share of the market through innovative products, pricing strategies, or marketing tactics. All in all, understanding the level of market penetration is important for businesses in order to make informed decisions about their marketing and growth strategies and to identify opportunities for growth and differentiation in competitive marketplaces. In this video, key steps and strategies for recognizing potential markets, including conducting market research, analyzing customer behavior and demographics, and identifying market trends and opportunities. Whether you are a new entrepreneur looking to launch a startup or an established business seeking to expand your market reach, this will provide you with valuable insights and practical tips for identifying and tapping into potential markets for your business. Number 1 is Conduct Market Research. Gather data on consumers' demographic, behavior,
Preferences and Pain Points Conducting market research is the process of collecting and analyzing data about a particular market or industry in order to better understand the characteristics, behaviors, and preferences of customers and competitors. Market research can provide businesses with valuable insights into consumer demand, market trends, and competitive landscape, which can be used to inform business decisions, marketing strategies, and product development. Market research can be done in many forms including surveys, focus groups, interviews, and data analysis. The goal of market research is to gain deeper understanding of the market and its potential customers, and to use this information to make informed business decisions that are more likely to lead to success. Number 2. Analyze Market Trends Analyzing market trends is identifying trends in the industry, such as emerging technologies, changes in consumer behavior and shifting market demand. It also involves studying the patterns and changes in market demand, competition, and consumer behavior over time. In analyzing market trends, businesses can identify new opportunity strategies for staying ahead with their competitors. For growth, anticipate changes in customer needs and preferences, and develop effective strategies for staying ahead of their competitors. Market trends can be identified by tracking key performance indicators, KPIs, such as sales figures, customer satisfaction ratings and market share. Number 3. Evaluate Competition Analyze the competitive landscape and assess the strengths and weaknesses of existing players. There are several factors that businesses may consider when evaluating competition, including market share, pricing strategies, distribution channels, product or service quality, customer loyalty and marketing tactics. Evaluating competition is a critical part of developing an effective business strategy, as it enables businesses to understand competitive landscape, identify areas of opportunity and potential threats AD develop strategies for gaining a competitive advantage in the marketplace. Number 4. Consider your strengths. Identify your business's strengths and capabilities and consider how they can be leveraged to meet customer needs. Considering strengths involve taking an honest look at own skills, resources and capabilities in order to identify areas where you have a competitive advantage and can differentiate yourself from competitors. Number 5. Assess market potential. Evaluate the size of potential market, the level of competition and the potential for growth. By assessing market potential, businesses can determine whether a particular market or industry is worth pursuing and identify potential challenges or opportunities that may affect their ability to succeed. Assessing market potential is also a critical step in developing effective business strategy, as it enables businesses to make informed decisions about entering new market or expanding their operations. Now let us explore what market need is. Market need refers to the demand or desire for a particular product or service in a given market. It is the gap or unfulfilled demand that exists between what customers want or need and what is currently available in the market. Market need is essential for any business to succeed because it provides a clear indication of what consumers are looking for and what they are willing to pay for. Market need can be identified through market research, which involves the collection of analysis of data about consumers, competitors, and the overall market. Identifying market and customers' needs involve a combination of research, observation, and analysis. Conduct market research it will help to understand potential customer needs. Have to identify who are your customers and know why they buy and how they purchase. Identifying customer is an essential step in developing a successful business strategy. Know their financial capacity or their buying power and their spending habits. Financial capacity, buying power and spending habits are all important factors to consider when identifying and targeting customers. Financial capacity refers to people's ability to pay for goods or services. It is determined by income, savings and debt. Buying power refers to the ability of a group of consumers to make purchases. It is determined by income, population size and market demand. Spending habits refer to the way that consumers allocate their income across different products and services. By understanding your customer's financial capacity, buying power and spending habits you can create products and services that meet their needs and price them appropriately to maximize your revenue potential. Learn about your customers' views, expectations and preferences in their feedbacks about your products and services and your business rivals.
Observe customer behavior how they interact with products and services. Observe how customer use the products and identify pain points or areas where the product can be improved. Feedback from customer can help businesses understand their needs and preferences. Feedback can be gathered through social media, customer reviews, and customer service interactions.